Thank you. Easy credit and supply side economics. My new Yaffa blocks are the bomb. You know, we should take field trips to the Sunnyvale Mall more often. I love my new shoulder massager. If it's perfectly in my shoulder. Indeed. Summer is upon us. And these hey, new OP shorts display my mighty thighs magnificently, if I do say so myself. Oh, we're about to run it back just to make just to make sure that we all heard that, you know, she's talking about her the, the shoulder. I love my new shoulder massager. I bet. If it's perfectly in my v shoulder. Indeed. Summer is Yo! upon us. And these new OP <laughs> shorts display my mighty thighs magnificently, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I am the Adonis of this workplace. Seriously, dude, it's like you're begging me. <laughs> Dave, please kick my ass. Luckily for you, I'm wearing my new Vans and I don't want to get an electric ass scooter? all over them. It's weird. But today I almost like you guys. Or perhaps it's just the feeling of having something I can trust between my legs. Credit rules! My new TV watch is Savage! The best. I can use it to check the weather so I don't wear sandals when it rains. That reminds me, I better check. This just in the bloated video game industry. That is an an Apple Watch? Slump. Console sales are down. Game sales are in the old crapper. Looks like tech nerds are in for a fast slide down the poop tube. If I was in Silicon Valley, I'd start tightening my belt. Alas! <laughs> This belt can be tightened no more. Todd, pull your shorts down. You're giving me nightmares. I can see your Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Wait, Damn. I don't understand what's happening. Oh. It's your own fault, Janice. If you serve people crap when they don't eat it, then you have to. Speaking of crap, did you ever play that ET game? Horrible. Just want to take a moment to acknowledge how terrible the ET video game actually was. Like, I granted, I know it was back in the day, but even for the time, do y'all understand how popular the movie E.T. was and still is? Probably makes millions of dollars every year. We're gonna play a clip of the video game. How? How? Turn that down. Who's got a hot pitch for me? How can we pitch it time? There it is. This video game crash has put our livelihoods in peril. P.S. My groin sweat has rendered these OP shorts unreturnable. And my lunch unkeep uh. downable. Chuck, you've got to stern barfs back and calm down. I've been through plenty of market tumbles. How did you make it through? I bet. Well, let's see. Back in 78, Mrs. Larity number six died in a tragic strangling accident. I got some big time coin out of that. Number oh, six. Great. Now we're all gonna be broke. He unalived her. Girl, all you got to do is dip into your savings. What are savings? I want one. But all my gold has a delicious chocolate center. Chocolate center? <laughs> that is some racist noise. Wait, Game of Vision is financially solid, right? Game of Vision is solid as morning wood. Solid as a nun's Yo. back hand. Solid as a Gobi Desert booger. <laughs> my prenup. Ball tumor. A cheerleader's chesticle. Okay, stop. You're making me horny. My point is that what? there's absolutely no chance that I'm as overextended as a pervert pecker in a panty tornado. You people will have your jobs tomorrow. Come rain or shine. Son! I swear to go. That's a huge relief, sir. Each episode, this man, Larity, gets crazier and crazier. Yo, the, how, the things he says. Whoever wrote this man's lines is a genius this man has bars yo like larity is the ultimate savage probably one of the most underrated characters of all time on any tv show the show itself is already underrated but this character specifically deserves so much more love and attention i love mr larity thank you so much did he just swear to goat he did sw sw swear to goat. <laughs> I knew he swore to goat. Man, if I had a dollar for every time I was disappointed by the white man, I'd be a millionaire. And this game crashed and suck my Don't worry, guys. I have a plan. This was the plan? You don't like it? You can drink somewhere else. Get out of here. This is stupid. We are skilled people. We just have to apply uh, to wealthier, dumpster beer. better managed game oh. companies. All right, let's see what we got here about Mary's resume. Um, accomplished bounty hunter. Okay. 
owns a cool leather jacket slash mustache. She does. The, her, her alter ego, if you go back to earlier episodes, there was an episode where she pretended to be a guy. That's what she's talking about. Uh, works well with uh, chauvinist, chauvinist women haters. I guess that's how you say that word. I don't know. Uh, willing to work in a basement setting. <laughs> Favorite flower, a tulip. All right, schooling. Graduated Sigma Cum Laude at the... <laughs> Yo, it's the little details with Code Monkeys. Like, I've said it before, but for somebody that just may be tuning into the, this episode specifically, Having not watched the other ones, every little, like, pay attention to everything going on in the background, all the words you see popping up on screen. I can't stop and acknowledge every single one. We're going to be here for a while if I did that. But just look at what's going on around, and it is the funniest shit ever. Mary, I want you to know that I have always respected you as a programmer. Wow. Thanks, Todd. That was actually nice. Unfortunately. The only way to usurp your power is to kill you and wear your skin as a cape. Let it begin! There. Now go away. You're gonna blow this interview for me. Run for your life! They're eating brains! I see the zombie wars have begun. My only chance for survival is to align myself with the undead. No, man. They're, They're code zombies. looking for a free meal. Look, eat her first. But save the skin for me. Okay, Jerry. When they come oh, in for the interview, Todd. let me do the talking. No offense, dude, but you do not know how to talk to people. Welcome to Midway. My name is Ed Boone. Well, first off, thanks for making such great games. I hear you're doing some really cutting-edge stuff here. He's kidding. They're working at Midway suck. now? That's a hit game. What about Defender? Gauntlet, Boom, Shaka Laka! Spy Hunter! Uh, dumb, don't care, NBA lame. Jam is awesome. Last one? Look, I'm fans of your work at Game of Vision, but these are tough times. All I can offer you is entry-level jobs. Oh, believe me, we'll take them. No, we won't. Screw you, dude. We are serious talent, and when you're ready to make us a serious offer, you know how to reach us. No, I don't. Then you'll be hearing from my lawyer. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, doesn't it? Or does it? Let's go, Jerry. I'm so sorry. Okay, you want to play hardball? We can play hardball all day long. You give us good jobs, or I'm going to tell everybody you try to snorkel my chud. Jerry's my witness. That's it. Snorkel Finish my that. chud. Is that? It's Dio. Uh, hey, that's Goro. You know how to talk to people. Oh, the Mortal Kombat Tower. So, uh, we can't get jobs. Let's look on the bright side. We are getting drunk. That's positive. Ugh, why did I become a programmer instead of learning a practical skill? No Stinky jobs, cheese. No health insurance. Who's going to pay for my vagina pills now? Stop complaining. Boo-hoo, you got syphilis. Boo-hoo, you a sad loser. So what? <laughs> Innovation not just my job, it's my house. Benny got no house. Oh, oh man. Benny, you hold your ass. More mead, Wendt. Black Steve, what are you doing at the mall in the middle of the day? I work here. I'm gonna count that H&R Black, bitch. H&R Black. The solution to our problem is all around <laughs> us. The mall. This place is filled with employment opportunities. Shaz, your d get the f off the stage. The boob troll is right. Yeah, we can all get jobs right here. Dave. And still see each other every day. <laughs> Your bail, sir. Ah, oh, drinking yourself to death is expensive. We're hiring here at Stinky Cheese. We're also hiring in my pants. Care to apply for a position? Jam. Yo! What's the problem here? This unemployed bum ran up a $600 tab. Dude, a I never beer? even seen $600. Then it looks like you oh, got beer a job okay. for Stinky Cheese. So, uh, this episode did not age very well. It's not because of anything crazy or offensive or this or that. No, it didn't age well because of certain things and the certain, like, topic of the episode. Like, uh, video games crashing, going out of business, you know, there's no employment in the video game world. Look at today. Yeah. <laughs> look at today. And then also, look at today when it comes to plenty of employment opportunities at the mall. When's the last time you went to the mall? I don't even remember. If I went to the mall today, I don't even know what I would... I don't even think I would feel comfortable spending money. I feel like everything in there is, like, definitely overpriced now because of how bad business is. Like, I don't even know if the food court's hitting anymore. Can I go and get, like, a big old, like, cookie cake thing. Like, that's the only thing I ever got from the food court. What's your favorite food court item? Let me know down in the comments. Yo, that looks like you, Dad. Of course it does, boy. I used to own this company. And today we're taking her back. Ha! 
This here's a corporate raid. He out. Yeah, give me your <laughs> panties. What's up? Mr. Larry. It's a panty How raid, sir. You know my name, woman. She's a witch. Give me three wishes, witch. Quiet, boy. Lady, tell me how you know my name or I'm feeding you to the hogs. Mr. Larity, I work for you. You still own this company. I do? Yes. When your ex-wife died, ownership reverted to you. We thought that was why you killed her. What, what was that? Nothing. I Just knew it. please put down the guns. Looks like I'm back in business. <laughs> Hot damn. Let's make some novelties. Something has gone horribly wrong. I have a foam pretzel on my head. What are you pink talking pretzel. about? We still get to be work buddies. Only now we work at the pink pretzel instead of Game of Vision. I'm gonna go stick my head in the pretzel oven. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed, yeah, Jerry. You've been at pink pretzel for just two hours, but from what I see, you've got management potential. Wow, thanks, Kevin. <laughs> I've never been praised before. It That's feels nobody really works good. There. Guess I'm making you the assistant manager. Don't fall or as for we it. say in the biz, my pink pretzel first lady. <laughs> oh my gosh, the pretzel first lady? Wow, Dude. finally, the respect I deserve. I think I was underappreciated at my last workplace, Kevin. I know you were, Jerry. <laughs> and here's the sweet part banging mall chicks is way easier when you uh... got the assistant manager hat. Oh, woo! Look at that. Yeah, having sex with ladies is cool. F yeah, it is, Jer. All right, listen, I gotta go to the bathroom and. Help some ladies with a plumbing problem. No, he's <laughs> you know gonna crank I mean. one. You sex with a lady. Word. Hey, time for Natalie from the brewing company Word. to practice her chugging. <laughs> this might take a while, because uh, I hear she's a Okay, Mary, Olivia, there's a new pretzel first lady Whoa. in town, and her name is okay. me. Okay. You've got to be kidding. I'm as okay. serious as a heart attack, Missy, and I've got news <laughs> for you. If you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. Now get to it. You're so cool. <laughs> You work for a bitch called Stinky Cheese now, man. How hard can it be? You serve pizza to children, then let them play violent video games, some of which I made, like Wrath of Bong over there. Awesome. Wrath of Bong? Hey, this sort of makes me an expert. Let me tell you something. Stinky Cheese is hardcore. Ooh. How much do I make as a waiter? Not enough, dude. Mm. Then I'll have to find a way to supplement my income. And over here is the bodily waste department, rubber division. Mr. Larity, I made you this plate of brownies to welcome you back to the company. Oh, I get it. You took a dump in the brownies and now you wants me to eat it. I'm game. <laughs> what? Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm eating butt fudge. Why would you say that about my what? brownies? <laughs> you don't get it. I love getting tricked into eating Oh, Dave used to do it to me all the time. Do you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Everyone in the show has crazy lines, but this man, Larity, says, I don't know. Like, there's no other show that's saying that kind of shit. Like, bro, he said he's eating butt fudge. <laughs> I think he has a caca finish, if you ask me. The man loves to play with Dookie. Sorry, Todd, I can't let you in here. See my shirt? I have applied everywhere, but no one in this infernal Savage. world will employ me. Clearly, I'm too overqualified. David, I employ you. Unemployable. Fine. First off, if you want to work here, you have to wear a Speedo. All right, your job is to climb into the pizza ovens and scrape off the burnt cheese, but you gotta do it while it's hot or it won't come off. Question. In a Speedo! May I eat the scraping? No. Damn. You guys used to be programmers, right? What do you care, possum? Yeah, I was a programmer too. Very uh... sacro. I created handheld baseball in the 70s. And now you're living the dream here at Stinky Cheese Sweet! Dream? <laughs> it's a nightmare. Not the possum pouch. Not the possum pouch. Whoa! All right, people, I want to hear your ideas for fresh novelties. What you got? How about a squirting hand buzzer? Nice one, Roger. That's what I got at the massage parlor last week. Yeah. What else? What about a rubber turd? Make it a talking vagina and we got to win. No, I will not. Well, this place sucks harder than an angry anteater. Dave came up with better gags when he was getting his stomach pumped. Dean sales chart. You see, we want sales to go up. Sales should be like my fifth wife and never go down. Yo! Sir, weapons are not allowed in this office. <laughs> and how'd you sneak him sweet ass sweater cannons in here, sugar? Mr. Larity, <gasps> I'm going to have to interrupt you now and strenuously suggest you attend a sexual harassment seminar with our HR Good specialist. Luck. Dang it, you're probably Good right. Luck. I'm getting old and my harassment ain't what it used to be. Sweater cannons? Heck, I must seem like a dinosaur. <laughs> I'd love to say something like, let's just make a whoopee and then I'll poo-poo all over you. <laughs> That'd get a rise stuff. out of you youngins. 
He said his harassment ain't what it used to be. Like, bro, he was upset at himself. Like, sweater cannons, ah, oh, damn, I could offend you better than that. I think after it's all said and done, after we finish the series, it's only right we do a best of Mr. Larity. So just know, once we finish the series, a Larity Mega Compilation is 100% happening on the channel. Don't touch me, Todd. Do you see who that is over there? Some kid, what about it? Some kid, some kid. That is Steve Weeby, possibly the greatest young player alive. He has high scores on my most diabolical games. Orc Dancer and Space Laser 3? He finished in under two hours. Oh, why don't you marry him, crazy man? Perhaps in time, I will, when he is of legal age. Command me, Greg! Todd! Mister, are you having a stroke? Because I don't want to quit Orc Dancer. Bruh. But I will if you're having a stroke. People are more important than high scores. Steve Weeby, my <laughs> eye has been upon you for years. So this okay. guy... You will rise He's above me. Predator! Orcs. How may I help you defeat Yo! the dancing orcs? Mm, I guess I could use a soda. And so soda you shall. He has a speedo on around kids. I just realized you only this. Made eight thousand dollars <laughs> last year. You should kill yourself right now. In fact, that would be a great way to save on your taxes. H and R hey, Black. You use this. Hey BS, I got a job at the information booth. Fat people ask me where stores are that have clothes they'll never fit into. Who is Hand R Black? It's H and R Black. <laughs> Let me put that down You're before crackers? I spit it out everywhere. If you ladies think that you can handle the stand alone for a sec, I'm gonna take a few pretzels to some of our other vendors. Whatever, mustache. Jerry's cool. Mustache. Huh? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, he has a car and his own house. Apartment, and it's a studio. Apartment. He's an artist too. Shut up. No, unless you count crying as an art. Ugh, he must be sensitive. Could you stop talking? He doesn't like you because you're so old, huh? That's really sad. I mean, I don't know because I'm not old, but when I look at you, it must be sad. Bro, them 8-bit tits. Mm. Like, what? <laughs> hey, what are you guys playing? Oh, we're playing the Red the Bong, stranger man I don't know. I gotta it's play this. Awesome game on the street. Hey, you gotta try it out, okay? Wow, sure looks cool. Say. How'd you like to make a bet with old Dave, who's never seen Rat the Bong? You uh, promise you'll never play it? Cross my nuts and hope to get high. Yeah. Wow, you own. Bars. Jake will play you for every quarter you got, right, guys? Run it up. Oh, man. Run it up. That was every quarter I ever earned waxing my dad's back. Yes. Face. Hey, do you kids know where to buy some weed? Face. David, get off Rat the Bong. My master returns and may wish to play. You've designed it after all. Surely you've seen it enough I by said now. It. What? Uh. You said you never even <clears throat> played it before. I lied. You want to do something about it, little kid? Ah! Sorry, mate. <laughs> get back down. <laughs> Poor Dave. Barry, I just got my ass kicked and robbed by little kids. This job sucks. How do you stay positive, man? I don't. Programming was the best job I ever had. Then one day, I saw some kid on the street playing my game. He said it sucked. I choked the at him. Now I'm a 45-year-old fake marsupial. Every night, I pray for death. <coughs> Seems like it's working. I have a grand in my pouch. If you call me, it's yours. Something painless, though, like a clean headshot. Nothing with fire! Come on, it can't be that bad. At least you get to drink in there. And I bet you could barf out your eyeballs. Oh. Look, it's stinky cheese. You know what I'm hungry for? Barbecue possum. Ah! Like that, dude. Ah! He set him on fire. That is not how he wanted to go. <laughs> no. Well, hopefully, the offer is still good. <laughs> nothing but ashes. What a dick. You died for nothing. Oh, he burned the Are money. So Stephen Weeby. Monkey is there dog. Anything this humble servant can do for you. Uh, yeah. I told my parents about you. I say monkey said dog. You sound weird and not to talk to you. And will you defy them? No, because if I do, I can't play video games anymore. Young master, run away. That is preposterous. You shall sail the seas of gaming as a great warrior. You need my firm, supple hand holding on to your tiller with a firm grip. Spiderweb, spiderweb, spiderweb. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Wait a minute. This is the same bozo we caught in the Renaissance Fair sting. And again, I say to you, officer. The Baubles for Bosom scandal was a set up. Oh, sure. Save it for the judge, fatty. All right, let's read this article on Todd. First of all, censored. He had his wiener out at the Renaissance Fair. It says, uh, Renaissance Fair pervert nabbed. Citizen safe again. 
Uh, oh, and it's just a bunch of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So Todd is a serial pervert and now a child predator. <sighs> this episode has been off the wall batshit crazy. The young squire has rejected my training. Bail for our misunderstanding cost me much of my treasure. Laboring as an oven peasant is humiliating, and my immediate superior is an imbecile. Shut up, I'm awesome. Yeah, well, Jerry's my boss. Enough said. You know what? I love my job, and I'm not afraid to say that. Even when I don't have time to lean, I still find the time to clean. Screw you, Jerry! Mary, you have, uh, 40 seconds left on your break. So, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Guys, I have seen the future, and in it, we are all bitter, drunken possums. And what happens to drunken possums? They get hit by a station wagon and crawl under my porch to die. And then they burn. <laughs> Look, we need to restore Game of Vision to its former half-assed glory. We don't need Larity. We'll go there, we'll squat there, and pretend we're doing work, and then I'm sure eventually somebody will pay us money. Yay, my vagina killed! Ugh, why would you do that? Uh, because I hate you. Let's go, everybody. I'm sorry. I belong here. And that's what a personal boundary is. Oh, God. Now, here are some more things that we consider <laughs> to be off-limits in the workplace. Oh, God. Sexual conduct of any kind. So something like this would be off-limits. Yes. I got you. Larity. Take your hands off my breasts. Can do. Just tell me when. Now, also, off-limits are words of a sexual nature. Like Yeah, right. Or that's the same word, <laughs> just with a me after it. Also, sexual propositions. Yeah, but how do you feel about sexual prepositions? <laughs> I'm not sure I follow. Inside, between, the guards. through, under, behind, <laughs> and all over. Mr. Larity, please. Well, dang it, woman, if you don't want it, why are you talking so hot? You got my voice <laughs> forming like a weasel in a sweat sock. Is he like cranking it? it? That is sexual harassment. Oh, if Dave was here right now, I'm sure he'd say something delightfully skewed to raise my spirit. You know what? I can't do this. Boobies, boobies, boobies. No. <laughs> this gonna get me canceled. Jesus! Welcome to the pink pretzel. Can I help you? Really? Is that all you have to say to me? Would you like to try our new pretzel bites? Yes, but that's not the point. We're going to Game Vision to get our old lives back. Come on, man! Sorry, Dave. I'm the pink pretzel first lady now. I've finally found a place that values me for me. Employee, employee of the respect hour. Me. I have an awesome mustache, and I have a hot girlfriend who thinks I'm cool. Isn't that right, Olivia? Are you talking about me behind my back again, Stedley? Whoa, I know you. You're like Mun's little stepsister, <laughs> the sperm whale. She's 16, dude. You're going to jail, and it's going to be awesome. What? 16? Olivia? Oh, gosh. No! I knew our relationship was too good to be true. Thank goodness we only went to first base. Jerry, no, I am ready to be with an older man and go to Yo! Base. You only got to first base? Wait, fifth base? Yes, first base. We held hands. Oh, man. After this scandal comes out, they're going to show me my duties as the pink pretzel first lady. This episode is crazy. Look, sperm whale, if you ever want to get blowholed, give me a call. What the hell is blowhole? Dave! Yeah, I, know for a whale. I know that you have got more squid than Moby Dick. See you on the poop deck, sailor, and bring some friends. I'm sorry, people, but you're all laid Yo. off on account of the horrible fire. What fire? This one right here. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, fire! <laughs> Why'd you have to burn it, Murder. Dad? Son. Sometimes when you love something, you got to set it free. And yeah. other times, when that thing becomes an inconvenience and you'd be better off with the insurance money, then you got to burn it. Like a mom. Now you're getting it, boy. Rested the check. All right, everybody. We run Game of Vision now. And we're going to do it on our terms. Clarence and Black Steve, I need you guys to pull those boards off the Game window. Mary off. and Claire, stand over there and make out. Um, I'm Game if Mary is. Jerry and I are going to set up our own offices and make some free video games. There's that hunky that screwed us over there. Hey, Dad, look, it's those people. Oh. Too late, jerkwads. We're taking possession of this turd bag you used to own. I'm the only one that calls my company a turd bag. Well, it's not your company anymore. <laughs> it's ours. This is a people's revolution. We will stand your tyranny no longer, villain! That's right. Tell him, Dave. Good thing you got here, Mr. Larity. Mary is trying to turn Game of Vision into a communist cult modeled after the female reproductive system. Sorry, Mary. What? Dave, I missed your honesty and your brownie. Dean, pound the these brownies. And blood pudding. You got it, bro. Why would you do that? Ow! Oh, I think you broke my 
blood no. pudding. All right, let that be a lesson to you all. Never trust me, ever. Okay, it's on. Sorry I had to get physical with some of you folks, <laughs> but I learned my lesson. I ain't never giving up Game of Vision again. Ten arms, that's ten all you legs. you have to say after abandoning and then assaulting us? Yep, that's all. Now, who's got some fiery hot pitches for us? Sir, before we start, I'd like to say welcome back by presenting you with this the bowl brownies. of brownies. I hope you f*** it all over these. The butt fudge. I wonder if the pink pretzel will take me back. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. I'm eating We all are, <laughs> Mr. Larity. We all are. Uh... Hey, bros, what's going on? This is Cottonmouth. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Cause subscribing makes you feel good. Subscribe, motherfucker. <laughs>